Hi everyone, Jordan Long here, and today we're going to talk about dealing with the Social Security Administration or the team or team stronghold, you know, leadership. Now, they do many of ones, but the well known one is first, you know, withdrawal. That's the first one. Now, the first one then handicapping, handicap, and then income help, and then dead bearer help. And those are the main only ones that they run. And a lot of folks scave them. And a lot of folks say, you know, scave folks who are on it. You know, and whatever the grounds is. And a lot of folks always come up with some kind of, you know, thing about, oh, you shouldn't fully entrust in them. They're going to run out one day. Well, how can you run out if the income toll from folks working full time and half time and some of that goes to back up that that team and what they do. So how will they run out of it? I don't know. And there's always someone bullshitting about how someone wants to do away with it. It'll go something like this. So, what's going on? Well, first off, you know when you're on team, when you're on team stronghold income help, you can only make so much income on the side, and the uh, and the spans of work have to be the same. Yeah, I seek to do that with all the work that I do get. I even tell the folks, you know, that when I that when I'm working that they can only give me half time work and that the income in them and the work span has to be the same I also makes and I don't worry I also go around I do and I double look to see if if the income and in the work span matches up you know and I tell them too so what way does it be well it seems that the only income that's towable. Oh, great. We knew this income was towable. Yeah, I get it. And the income that I'm making from my halftime work or what my business brings in, I know that's towable. The IRS or the, in, the inside income business told me that. What, you going to tell me that I'm making too much for my halftime work or my business is making too much? No. Well, thank God. Are you gonna tell me that? Oh, I didn't. That uh, that I did. That I didn't pass any of my uh, any of my seeks. Because I know I always did. I always, you know, answered truthfully on all the written sheets you gave me. And every time I had to go to see one of your mind healers or whoever they were, I always passed on that. You know. And I never did anything that would be unlawful. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have to worry about any of that because you passed on all of that. I mean, you pass on the written seek, all the mind healers we sent you to see over the years, and we always shifted it up. You know, always gave, always said that everything was matching up with what was being said, being written down. Yeah, and I wouldn't worry about your income or your spans of work because that's keeping because that's kept the same, and whatever income you are making from your halftime work, well, that's not and that has not been enough to do anything to the income help that we've been giving you, and whatever your business is making is not really doing that much, even though some of that had to. Even though what you made on your halftime work and what your business made, some of that was towable, like you said. Yeah, that was true. And look, you know, a lot of folks are going to say, you know, we're going to, a lot of folks, and look, a lot of folks out there like to say things like, oh, well, we shouldn't trust in the SSA. You know, because they won't be around someday. Some law, law, some lawmaker, 
uh, Ever and the Winnemalt, the house of the lords and the house of the the house of the elders, house of the folks, or the fourth sitter himself. Someone wants to do away with it. Oh, we've been here for years. And the folks who like to say things like we're going to run out of income one day. Well, that's just unfearing. As long as there's folks who work full time and half time, there's always going to be income toll that's taken out. And some of the income toll goes to back up the SSA the Social Security Administration or the Team Stronghold leadership. So I wouldn't worry about that. Now oh, there's been a lot of folks in the Winnemote, the House of the Elders and the House of the Lords that always said, the folks always said things they were going to do. And there always been folks saying the Forest Sitter was going to do this or the High Deavers were going to do that. But at the end of the day they always, oh that was folks just fearing folks. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming, for coming in today. Well, thank you. So, if you folks want to guilt me or shame me for being, having it, go ahead. Alright? Because everyone is on some offshoot of it. Either for those who no longer work anymore, they're on the withdrawal team. For those who work but got handicapped in some way, they're on the handicap team if they meet the standards and meet all the lawful grounds for it. And for those who might don't have enough income in the, on themselves, they might have the income help if they meet all the standards and the lawful ends of it. And for those who might have lost a mother or father and that would put a handicap on their income, then they're on the on the dead bear one if they meet the standards and lawful ends for that one so don't give so anyway in the day it is what it is if you like this film then follow me over here at Salem I mean <coughs> follow me over here at the Jordan Long fairway watch the other film I made yesterday over here I Jordan Long and I'll see you all tomorrow goodbye